Hey everyone, I'm back with another Transformers review, and today we're taking a look at the R.I.D. Ultra Magnus, the Voyager version. Who, uh, I picked up at Marshall for $12.99. Pretty much the only reason I got him. Uh, there's no hope in finding him in any stores near me. All the stores near me are just empty. It's after Christmas. Everything is gone. Not even a bumblebee left on the pegs. Uh, and I just recently found out the Toys R Us in my area, the manager, uh, is, an al is also a Transformers collector. So not only will I have to, uh, be on the hunt for new figures, uh, to get, to get them before other collectors get them, but the actual manager who works there, uh, he, uh, he buys them for himself and for his friends, so, yeah, it's gonna be really hard to find stuff for myself now. But anyways, yeah, here's Ultra Magnus, and he is really, really nice, actually. I'm actually glad that I picked him up, especially for $12.99, that's probably the best part. But he was just awesome, awesome. I really like this figure. Let me take off his gun. And you can see, he basically looks like an upscaled version of the Cyberverse, which I do not have. And you can see... Here's the Viacon. He's actually a really well-sized Voyager. Really, really well-sized. Uh, accessories are a uh, missile. I really wish he came with two. That would have been better. And his hammer gun thing. Mech tech weapon, whatever. That's just fun for about five minutes. But we'll get on to those later. Uh... He has like two support hinges on either side. I like to use the one on his right leg. You can just pop that up on there. Or anywhere here. There's also port here. There's also port. Oh, there you go. Then port here port here, you get the point, port here, so he has a lot of ports, uh, I'm pretty sure that the arms micron doesn't even add any more ports, just for the fact that he has so many, so you can keep that on there, and he has a little, uh, peg or plug-in at the top, and you can stick also the missile, as well as stick on any of the side ports, or the roof port, like so, and he does have decent paint apps, you can see he's got the stripe right here. He's got an Autobot logo, a white Autobot logo. Both sides. Uh, the stripe continues to the front. And here's the red cab. Uh, but due to the red cab, a lot of the paint apps went in here. And he has no silver rims and no silver on the smokestacks. But a silver Sharpie can easily fix that. Uh, he has molded in side view mirrors, which... Only look molded from the front, from the back, it's just nothing. Uh, you can see he has molded in taillights on the back. So that's pretty much it. He's kind of a plain truck. But I really like him. Uh, so anyways, yeah, let's get on to the transformation. Uh, so what you want to do is, is take these side panels and kind of Hit them loose like that, and then take the legs and fold these out, and split them apart, and rotate that. And the feet you can pop out. And you can see Ultra Magnus just kind of folded up in there. If you do that, I'm gonna go to the front right here. And split it like this, like that. So now you can take the arms, like that, and I'll like so. Flip out the hands, rotate the shoulder pieces down, flip this piece back, and then this will go onto his back. 
think that's as far as it goes. I'm not sure. These panels you want to flip like that. Like so. I don't know. Close those up. Uh, they don't peg in. They just kind of sit there. Unless there is a peg. Nope, there isn't. Oh, there's a little clip actually. actually. But mine doesn't stay in. It just pops out. Now the wheels actually look pretty nice like that, but the actual transformation, you see they're pegged right down there on his feet. So you can unpeg them, rotate them, and then there's a tab on his leg right there, and a slot inside of there, so you just simply tab and slot them in. And there we have Ultra Magnus in his robot mode and I really like the look of this figure I'm really impressed with uh, the engineering that went into this figure uh, simple transformation uh, for a Voyager class but he's, his size is there and that's what counts uh, you can see here is next to the Voyager RID Prime and you can see he's just a bit taller than him and uh, I'm sure someone's going to ask, here he is next to the first edition Optimus. Uh, first edition Prime, I think, is a little bit shorter, not counting the smokestacks. Uh, but yeah, Ultra Magus is a really nice size. Uh, and he has really good articulation, actually. Uh, his arms are in ball joints, and be careful, these ball joints are loose. They are very, very loose. Um, but I did put super glue on mine. Uh, I recommend buying the super glue with a little brush. That's that works best. And just put super glue all around the ball joint. And I, le I left it to dry overnight. And now he has really nice and tight joints. Uh, he's ratcheting elbows. Right there, uh, bicep swivel. His hand is on a ball joint, but he can he can't do much. Right there. He does have waist articulation, which is always nice. Legs are on ball joints, uh, rotate at the thigh, and his knees are on ratchets, which I really like. Uh, feet do nothing besides that best transformation. Head on a ball joint, get some good these poses on him. Uh, I recommend when you're at the store looking at if you see multiple Magnuses, Magni, whatever the plural form is, uh, make sure you watch out in the eyes. The eyes uh, do have some QC issues. Uh, there were two on the shelf. Uh, one of them had a half painted eye, so uh, I made sure that this one was fully painted. Uh, he, mine does have like scratches on the silver paint. Uh, on the white right here, you can see it's a little bit uh, sloppy. Same thing with the collar. Collar is a bit sloppy. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, keep in mind on those areas, uh, mainly the eyes. Uh, so here's his weapon. Like I said, forms the mighty band hammer. So we can take the Subicons and band them off the forms. Uh, he can hold it like this. And it will become a assault rifle of doom, like that. And uh, if you don't apply super glue to the ball joints, his arm would just, with the weight of the gun, just fold down like that. Uh, you can also, it is a powerizer, so you can put it on there. And the LED gimmick doesn't really work unless you put it. Eh, it doesn't even work that well, actually. In my opinion. Or is it? It's supposed to work. What is it here? No. I don't even know why they bothered to make these clear. I really think that over time these are going to start cracking. So I'm really, really paranoid about those. I don't know what the hell they were thinking about making uh, clear plastic parts for joints. Especially, uh, I was really happy. This is actually the most minimal, like, noticeable translucent plastic like you see on prime it's 
it's right there. But if you put in like the powerizer gimmick and stuff, like his arm does glow. Magnus is doesn't, so I don't know what they were thinking. Maybe he had a different mech tech weapon or something, but I have no clue. So yeah, he can hold it like that, or he can like peg it onto the side of his arm, like so on one of these either side pegs, like that. Uh, he has pegs right here. I have no clue what they're for. I've been trying to look for whatever they were, but I have, can't find anything. Uh, so if you want to make it into a hammer, just pull this down. And he does actually lock. There's like a little tab right here that you flip up. And it will tab into place. So now you can give Magnus his mighty band hammer. And uh, he can go admin some pages. And if someone's acting up, just band hammer the crap out of him. So yeah, he has the mighty hammer of Thor. <laughs> uh, probably done as an homage to the animated Magnus, who had like the super giant hammer of Thor too. And you can see, his hammer of Thor makes him really, really front heavy. He doesn't want to stand, because this thing is so heavy. But uh, like I said, if I didn't super glue the ball joints, his hammer of Thor would really... Like, uh, his arm actually would make the hammer of Thor be like this. That's what it would do. Uh, if you notice, he has an LED right here that will make it glow. Uh, it will glow as long as you have it like this. Uh, my friend actually, he had it like this for like, I think two weeks. And he said it lasted him two weeks. I think it's actually still going. But uh, if you're not crazy like he is, and if he's watching this, he knows who he, knows who he is. What you can do is make sure it's unextended. Just take uh, a Phillips screw head, uh, screwdriver, uh, unscrew those, take out the battery, screw them back. I apologize for that. Camera ran out. Um, like I said, unscrew them, uh, take out the battery, screw them back on, and you will be fine. And you'll have a lightless uh, Thor of bah, hammer of Thor. Yeah, this is actually one of the better mech tech weapons in the R.I.D. line. Uh, it's actually, it makes sense. Uh, and it's not as ridiculous as like Prime's was or Bulkhead's was even. And actually, I'm gonna uh, take out an arms micron that I have and put it on magnet. And here's a little arms micron I have for uh, Bulkhead. Uh, the blues don't match, but hey, close enough. Uh, uh, will, he, will he make him hold it like a gun? I don't think he can. I don't think he'll be able to. All I'm going to do is put the hammer of Thor on him. There you go. He has a pretty long handle, too. So it's always nice. The hammer of Thor, and then ugh. yeah, this thing is really, really heavy. Uh, let's see if we can hold it. There we go. Damn it. Oh, I have no idea. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Now we have Magnus ready to go crush some vehicons. And yeah, he's fully loaded. Uh, one thing I actually forgot to mention, uh, I really like how these uh, pay tribute to, like, the, the um, what were they called? Like, those white stacks that he had in G1. And yeah, his hammer of Thor makes him really, really heavy. Uh, his missile launcher, I really wish I had a second one. So I could put it on his shoulder. You see, Magnus is... Magnus means business now. This time it's personal. So yeah, uh, final thoughts. If you find him, especially if you find him at Marshalls, like for twelve ninety nine, definitely pick him up because he's worth picking up. In my opinion, he's a really, really great figure. Uh, don't go overboard. Don't pay more than I'd say thirty bucks for him, which is retail at Toys R Us now. It's stupid. 
So don't pay over 30 bucks for him. I think 40 bucks shipped should be the limit. Uh, he's not one of those that'll be like, oh my god, this, I must have this. Uh, but if you're a fan of Magnus, I'd say definitely go for it. Um, if you're a completist, of course you're going to have to get it. Uh, if you just collect uh, Prime toys that appeared in the show, uh, I'd go ahead and pick it up just because I have a hunch that he's going to appear in Beast Hunters. I mean, uh, there's rumors that we're getting a Voyager Beast Hunter figure, and there's been confirmation that we're getting a Weaponizer figure. So we've gotten a Cyberverse... Voyager, Weaponizer, and possibly a second Voyager. So I have no clue why Hasbro would make four molds of a character and not even put him in the show. So I don't know. I would... I'd get him just in case, because you never know. They might announce him to be in the show, and then all leftover R.I.D. Magnuses will be uh, worth millions. Whatever. And you get a cool Hammer of Thor. Yeah. So yeah, pick him up. He's worth checking out.